Does the lighting look different? Because it should. We're really close to my face right now because of my setup at the moment. I just got new lighting today and I am beyond, 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 beyond so happy right now. Let me just tell you this short, quick, easy, get to the point story about what's going on. Let me just tell you this short, quick, easy, get to the point story right now about what's going on. I went to Target, got some Starbucks, then I came across this Hello Kitty thing in Target, right? It was all for clearance. I bought something. Yes, I did. This makeup mirror. Isn't this so adorable? It has um, two sides, so it has a normal side and the five times side, and this is the best part. Ah, it lights up. So I am thinking, okay, I'm not going to get my lighting in the mail for another two days. It's like, whatever, I'll just use this to film today, not a big deal. I walk in my room, I see this huge box, and it is my vanity mirror, and it has tons of bulbs on it, and it is freaking awesome. So I'll show you guys what it looks like real fast. Ah, it's so pretty. I was seriously jumping up and up and up and down. Yeah, that's what I did. For the people who are just watching this one video of me and have not seen any videos of me, they're probably like, this girl is crazy. Not about it. So this review is going to be about the Revlon Colorstay Suede Lipsticks. And they're 16 hour. Let's jump right into it. I purchased three my very first time of seeing them because I got so excited. I was just browsing through Ulta and I was just like, oh, what is this? It's new. It's by my favorite drugstore brand, Revlon. And it's a lipstick. Oh my goodness. So... I am more of a chapstick kind of girl and a lip gloss kind of girl and when I started YouTube about one year ago, <laughs> it's been one year already, I've slowly become a lipstick lover. So when I found out about this, I went crazy. At Ulta, they are $10. Don't go there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. At Walmart and Target, they are $8 and I think 49 cents. Yeah, so go there. The packaging looks like this. It has a clear cap. And the color that you see on the outside of these is the color that's inside. So the one I'm holding up is in Trendsetter, and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. They come in a variety of colors, and they are so gorgeous. Trendsetter is my number one favorite. It, I think, has the most pigmentation out of all of my lipsticks. It's more of like an orangey red, not your deep red. It has like an orange undertone in it. Now, if you want to compare this to a regular size lipstick, which I just grabbed, as you can tell, the packaging is a little bit, probably half of an inch taller than my lipstick. So I don't know if that will bother you, but they are taller than the regular lipstick. You want to compare it to something, I compared it to the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. They are roughly the same height which look like that. So um, I don't know if that will bother you. It doesn't bother me. It's We're going to take off the cap. You're going to hear a little clicking noise as you screw it up. Yeah. So I'm going to swatch it on my hand. One swipe. First impression of this lipstick. I always write down my first impressions of everything so I can tell you guys about it. When I first swatched this, it reminded me of a Revlon lip butter. Not going to lie, it looked almost not too pigmented but it almost looks too light and moisturizing I was like oh great it's just it's just like a Revlon lip butter so I swatched it again and again and again and finally I got some real color the color that you're seeing right here so when you put it on your lips it's gonna feel more moisturizing than usual you're gonna be like hmm okay I like this this is good but a few minutes later and it will completely dry on your lips and it will become matte, a solid matte color. You'll feel, wow, this is a bit drying. If that doesn't bother you, get this lipstick. It doesn't come with a gloss or anything to put on top, but personally, I love that look. I love the matte lip color, so I really enjoy these lipsticks. However, I have six of them. Yeah, I went back. I was that crazy. I was like, I have to get more. They are amazing, and I need three more. I have worn all six of them, and I think that all of them have a different formulation. Some of them are similar and some of them are more drying than others. So for example, the one that I'm wearing right now is my favorite because I love the formulation. It's not as dry as, let me just tell you, this color which is in backstage. I love, love, love this color. Um, I found that it dries out my lips, but I really, really like this color, so I'm just going to wear it anyway. And then wearing this one, it looks much softer and a color stays on. It says 16 hours. I don't agree with that. The longest I've worn these lipsticks is six hours because that's all I could take. I did reapply it every three hours, but let me just tell you, 
Here, I'll even take a drink of my Starbucks. You'll see, I don't even know if you guys can, <coughs> excuse me, some of the color did come off. So as you're eating, as you're enjoying yourself, as you're drinking, it will slowly start to come off. And I was at my birthday dinner the other night. I was drinking, obviously, and eating. It just looked like the color had come off the center of my lips and went to my outer corners. I did reapply it. Not a big conclusion. Deal. I really like these lipsticks. I went crazy and like I said, I went back and bought more because I love the formulation so much because I don't mind that it dries out my lips just like a little bit. I love how it is matte and I don't mind reapplying it, you know, every three to four hours. That's not really a big deal for me because I didn't be completely honest, I didn't really, I don't believe in those 10 hour lipsticks or the 16 hour lipsticks. I'm just like, I want a long lasting lipstick that will work more than a regular lipstick. Do you know what I mean? Tell me down in the comments what your favorite long lasting lipstick is, what brand it is, how long does it last. Just leave it down in the comments because I'd be so interested in what you guys have to say about it. If you want to know the colors that I have, go to my Facebook page because I swatched every single one of them on my hand and on my lips. I'll put it right here and also down in the description box. That is all I have to say about the lipstick. I hope that this helped you so much because I know that these lipsticks are a little pricey and it's great just to look up reviews just to see what other people think about it and see if it's really worth the hype. So I think that you guys should just go try at least one. Don't go crazy like me and buy six unless you really, really like them. So I love you guys so much and in my next video I'm going to have a giveaway on a curling wand you guys always question the curling wands that I use and they're all by Numi so I'm having a Numi giveaway in my next video um preferably on preferably preferably I can't say that word. the curling wand that I'm going to be giving away is what I used on my hair today so you can kind of just get a preview of what it does to your hair and yeah so that is going to be my next video so I just love you guys so much and I just want to give back to you I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye